Hi, my name is Dan Toombs and I'm Atlassian Admin and today I wanted to quickly talk to you about setting up approvals for the first time. Now, approvals can be really, really key in helping the service desk agents uh, speed up ticket resolution because they've already got uh, the key approval or key interest of the stakeholder, which could be simply a end user's line manager for hardware requests as such as the one on the screen right now. It could also be the cab approval of a change ticket coming in, or it could be um, notifying of a service owner and everything else to do with instant tracking, etc. So as you can see on screen, we've currently got a new hardware request in for a mobile phone uh, because the users is broken. Uh, I am set to the approver, hence why you can see the required approval buttons for myself. Uh, if I was on the portal, I would also have these buttons on the portal if I wasn't like the agent in the project as well. The key thing is actually how the reporter though is interacting with the approver field. So for this particular form, it is just a manual select when the reporter is raising the ticket. Uh, they have just chosen their line manager for this particular request uh, and that's how it's raised. Um, however, you can also predefine the approval list inside the request type. So each, if each request type has slightly different scenarios and you need specific approvers for that request type, you can actually predefine that and by hiding the approve a field inside the request type form. You can, of course, also still use automation rules. So based on what's coming in, uh, go ahead and dynamically update the approver field, uh, but those are for automation rules and a different video. No matter how you choose to actually fill in the approver field, all of it links back to specific workflow things. So let's go ahead and jump to this workflow and we'll start talking about how you can set the approver field up. Okay, so I'm now here in the workflow and I've gone into edit mode. Now. Where you set the actual approvers themselves is on the status, not in the transition, it's on the status. So when you're going to set it up, make sure you actually click those boxes. Mine is on the first status. Yours could be on whatever status you're in. Just make sure you choose the relevant one. So let's start by clicking, waiting for approval. And on the right-hand side, you'll see this option here. Now, just note, this option will only appear if this workflow is tied to a service management project already. So you might need to attach it uh, you may need to associate it to um, a service management project before you can add this approval status. Once you've done that, make sure again, you click on status, hit add approval, just configure it. This is where you basically choose where to get the information from. So as I gave an example before of users interacting with the field, you may want to just go ahead and select that. You can also predefine it on the request type if it's specific or you can predefine it using groups so if you find your group you can go ahead and just use those or you can even use services so depending on your infrastructure and how you decide to use it using the option you services you can actually predefine people to get associated to this approval work way the next thing is to select how many approvals are required so you can either say all approvals a number of approvals or a number of approvals from said group that's being used, depending on which which way you go. And then the final thing is just to make sure you choose the correct transitions. So obviously approved and declined are the common ones, but you may have slightly different terminology you wish to use. Once you've done that, you click create and there you go. The last thing you have to do is just publish the workflow and you're done. Thank you very much for joining. I'll see you in the next video.